1967, Howard and Myra were high school sweethearts. But it's sad to say that back then, interracial relationships were nearly unthinkable. So after dating for two years, they broke up and lost touch. Well, 45 years later, they reunited and are now husband and wife. <laughs> They're here with us. What's up, Howard and Myra? So take us back to the late 60s. Why, why did you feel like you have to break up over two years of, of, of loving each other? Well, in the 60s, you know, racial tension was pretty high. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't think it would be fair to Myra that we, uh, I didn't think she could put up with the uh, stress of people looking down on her in that way. Um, so I told her, I said, we should meet. And we met at high, on High Street, where we met often. Mm -hmm. And I told her, you know, society's not going to let you be together with me and you be happy, so we should go our separate ways. And we said goodbye. What a grown-up, like... I mean, I hate that because it's a horrible thing, but what a grown-up thing to, to have to deal with at that age. And it was so sad. I was heartbroken. I didn't say anything at all. And I turned around and hugged him, and we walked away and said goodbye, crying. And about a block away, we turned around at the same time and hugged each other, or waved at each other. That's so cute. It's like a movie. Yeah. <laughs> you should totally make the movie and call it High Street. I'm just saying. <laughs> what did you think when you saw each other again? Like, so long. Like, did you connect on social media? Like, how did you reconnect? Well, I had uh, gotten really sick, and a mutual friend had told me he had seen Myra. And so oh. through that, we uh, got together. We went to a park, and I was sitting there in the park, and I thought to myself, you know, she ain't getting away again, you know. Yeah. At minimum, she had a stalker on her hand. She didn't know it, you know. <laughs> at minimum, she had a stalker, you know. It's so romantic. But, um, you, know, it's, you know, I just think it was uh, all in God's time, and now I couldn't be happier. I love it. for sharing your story. It's a beautiful story. Seriously, it should be a movie. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.